Let's see your new shirt. Looks great. This is Charles. Charles Spurgeon? Mm -hmm. Just like my name. Just like your name. So you're wearing the Spurge. Right. I wanted to make a quick video showing you my favorite easy DIY all purpose cleaner that's non toxic, very inexpensive to make, and smells amazing. So. You can find these glass amber spray bottles on Amazon. And basically, it's super simple. Half filled with white distilled vinegar, half with distilled water. And then you can just add essential oils of your preference in there for scent. I buy my thieves from Amazon as well. And I just use about 15 drops of that in the bottle. You can do more if you want it to be like stronger scent. But some people will do lemon or orange or other fresh scented things like that. So yeah, that's just my go-to. I keep that under my kitchen sink. I usually keep one in the bathroom. It's safe if the kids were to lick the table right after I sprayed it. It's just non-toxic. And it literally costs just like pennies to make a 16 ounce bottle of cleaner. So, um, Ivy Jane, no ma'am. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Alright, that's probably good. Okay, another thing. This is also an amazing streak free glass cleaner. So, spray that on those handprints up there. Look at that. Streak free. Beautiful. Never going back to Windex. This is all we need. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that I like to make is hand soap. I'm gonna show you, I'm about to refill this one because it's almost empty. These foaming hand soap things I also bought from Amazon. Even if you just have like a store-bought foaming hand soap thing that has a great pump on it, you can reuse that and that's a great thing as well. Somebody gave me this for Christmas, I think last year and it's Bath and Body Works and this one's been working great. So basically, it's super simple. I'm gonna show you how to do this. You just get some good Castile soap. I like this one, it already has peppermint in it. You can use just regular and add your own essential oils, but I love this scent. It smells like perfect for the holidays. So you just add half of an inch in the bottom of each of those. And then you can, this is optional. I like to do this, especially in the winter months when my hands get dry. Just add about five or so drops of vitamin E oil. And that just helps to make it a little softer on your hands. And you literally just fill it up the rest of the way with water. You don't necessarily have to use like purified water, but I'm just gonna use my brookie because it's easy. So there you have it. You just screw on these lids. And for pennies, you have foaming hand soap that is easy on the skin and non-toxic and safe. Something else that I also love about this Dr. Bronner's, the Pure Castile Soap, is that it's food safe. So I can use it for, not only for my hands, I can use it for a fruit and vegetable rinse. So if I'm pulling out a cucumber or a tomato to slice, I'll just run that over, grab a pump of this, squirt it on there, rinse that off, and love that it's safe and quality and non-toxic and good for you and good for the environment. I mean, you can literally wash your food with it. So yeah, that's my trick. I just use Castile soap for my hand soap and washing veggies and fruit. And that's just a simple way that we are saving money by making our own cleaner and making our own hand soap. And I hope that's helpful for you. That's plenty. Five, squirt. Got the wrong. Squirts, as opposed to get two squirts. Why? Do you want to do some cooking with us? You can help dump some of the spices in. Well, mommy, it already, it already passed Christmas. No, it hasn't passed Christmas. Cause it's snow. There's snow today. That means it's Christmas today. Well, cause I got presents yesterday. Yeah, but that was just because we were with relatives that we don't see very often, so they wanted to give you your gifts early. We haven't had Christmas yet. Snow doesn't actually mean Christmas. It kind of feels like it, doesn't it? Sometimes on Christmas we don't get snow. 
Actually, I don't know if there's ever been snow on Christmas since you've been alive. Henry, scrub first. Scrub first, Henry. Otherwise, it all washes down the drain. Scrub, scrub. Go like this. <laughs> scrub the back, too. You wanna wash hands? Yeah, I wash hands. Okay. Alrighty, I guess you should have a little hand washy if you're gonna help cook. You wanna help cook? Yeah. Scrubby dubbies. Scrubby dubby dub. You like that foaming soap? We just got our HelloFresh box in and we are ready to make dinner. Spurge, you wanna help me? All right, we got three choices. Oh my word, okay, they all look so good. Spicy maple chicken, sesame soy pork bowls, or beef or goose spaghetti. Spurge wants to do spicy maple chicken. All right, let's do it. It only takes about 30 minutes on average to make these recipes, which is awesome. And I love that with all of the ingredients being prepackaged, that there's not like waste. It's the perfect amount for our family. We have a box for four, and that's perfect for our family. This is super fun, and it's gonna be super yummy to eat. I think so too. The recipe's on the back here, so let's see what we need to do first. Are you gonna help me? Do you wanna dump it in? Dump it I'm one of those cooks who tends to get stuck in a rut making the same meals over and over and over. People kind of get bored of them. So Hello Fresh is fun because for one, I don't have to meal plan. Also all the ingredients and everything, all the thought is done. And so I just follow the recipe, everything's in the bag and it makes it super simple for me to try new recipes. So if you go to hellofresh.com, you can use my code just to see wild 80 to get $80 off across five boxes and you get free shipping on your first box. I think it helps them to be a lot more interested in trying the new dish whenever they can be involved in the process of making it. Would you rather have mashed sweet potatoes or potato fries? Potato fries. Okay, yeah. Spurgey has a little bit of a texture I'll issue. Potato fries. You want chicken fry? Okay. Spurgey has a texture issue when we do mashed potatoes, so I think we'll just do those as oven fries. I've got a potato. Ivy, you gonna make it? Yeah. Right. Mommy's gonna cut those up. First, we need to wash them. So let me get the chair. Spurgeon's gonna wash it. Get a little of that Castile soap. Jim, you wanna help out? Thank you, Spurge. Sis, don't get your sleeves wet, honey. Thank you. Do you wanna come see this? It's almost ready. Yes! Oh, it's actually ready. Look at this, we're plating up this goodness. We'll surprise Daddy when he gets back. He'll be like, wow, what fancy food. It's actually ready. It's almost ready. We're just waiting on the sweet potato fries. Mine. Um, I'm going green beans and green Okay. Hoppy! You want one, sis? It's the best um, chicken I ever ate. Mm. The best chicken you ever ate? Mm -hmm. How is it? Good. It was good to me, too. Ivy, what did you think about the chicken? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was good to me, too. Babe, what do you oh, think? yes, I love it. Good. Mm. Yeah. It's a good, uh, good flavor combination. Mm. That tastes very good. Good. Faith, do you approve? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, can't Figuring out how I can make a train set. Oh, a train? I see that. So what do you do this? Just drive cars and stuff down the road when they come over here. Henry and Ivy over there with their blankets and pillows cuddling. And there's Cutie a pies. for you to go under. Oh, you can even drive stuff under there? Uh, or you can oh. do or you. You can do it. Or I can? Oh, I don't think I would fit, but you might fit. I think I would knock it over. Yeah, if you're struggling to fit, mommy definitely wouldn't fit. I'm like twice as big as you. I'm twice big, smaller than you. Yeah, twice smaller. Look, I fit it. How about that snow out there, guys? We still have lingering snow. 
-hmm. The snow, I bet that snow is going to be freezing for a long time. Mm. Making the weather all cold, huh? Mm. It's so fun to have snow in the yard. Mm -hmm. Kids got to go out and play in it. Mm -hmm.